Hi guys, it's Nicole and I'm doing a different video today. I am doing my paranormal ghost stories, particularly the story of a ghost slash demon sleeping in the same bed as my mom. So <laughs> let's get started. So first and foremost, I lived in this house, um, very old house. I lived in this house from 96 to 2000. So I was like, you know, zero. I was zero. Who am I? I was zero to like four-ish, like four and a half um, in this house. This house is super old. Um, before us, a couple lived in it. The family did. That was a very old, like 1800s, like creepy little house kind of thing. Um, has the barn, has the attic, has the whole deal, like creepy, you know? And um, the bathroom was like just weird vibes. Like I remember being young going to this bathroom and feeling so creeped out. I don't know why. I mean, I kind of do why, but like weird. So I used to have these terrible like nightmares of being like chased or like possessed. And at the time, I of course did not know what the word possessed or like what that kind of stuff meant but looking back now I can definitely say that like I was for sure something was something was not right <laughs> um and one night I remember having a dream where I thought I woke up and who knows I could have been sleeping I could have been awake but it felt way too dang real and I wake up and this is like my bed like I am my bed <laughs> and right here is my closet like the pull-out closet kind of thing and then next to it is a little like space, a little like indent in the wall. And there was this super tall, like black entity. Mm, I have chills, oh my God, in the corner. And, oh my God. I remember feeling like I was, I was stiff. I had my, I have like chills just talking about it. Oh my God. My entire body was like glued to my, like together. And I just, kept my head back on my pillow and I just tried to close my eyes and go out to bed um so I definitely I definitely saw things and who knows I could have just been like super in tune to things when I was younger but I do believe in this kind of stuff and I do believe that um because you just because you are young and more like in tune with stuff doesn't mean you ever grow out of that kind of stuff um I believe in it 100% and yeah there was one night where I remember this night so well. I was getting out of my bed and I walked out of my bedroom. My bedroom was like right on the living room. So I get out of my bed, out of my room and open my door and I, everything is like in slow motion. It didn't feel real. And I remember seeing someone on the couch and it was like different people there and it was just so freaking weird and everything you know was really slow motion people were just like hanging out but it was like really slow um so i don't know really weird like very weird stuff and so that was that was one thing i found this story out um like four years ago but at this house my mom had an experience that i will never forget um my mom's in her room know sleeping at night and she wakes up because she sees this thing getting out of bed she's thinking it's my dad of course because like in the same bed and she grabs his arm and finds out it's not him there is a third person entity whatever in this bed oh my god so she screams because who the heck wouldn't scream about that kind of stuff I would be dying inside. She screams, wake up, wake up, wake up, like yelling. And she sees this thing get out of the bed. So the third thing, not my dad, not my mom, the third entity, entity getting out of bed and it walks in the corner and goes, shh, it said, shh, what the heck, man? What the heck? It said, shh, and it crawled in the corner and it just went away. It went away. I have chills. You can't see it, but I have chills. Um, so, yeah. 
just like knowing that happened when I was literally in that other house makes me think, you know, maybe, maybe my dreams weren't so, you know, unreal. I do really think that they were real dreams. They were actually like real things taking place in my room and in my head and all that stuff. So I don't know about you guys, but it feels pretty legit <laughs> and you be the judge, but I 100% believe in it and it terrifies me. So now that I have chills and I'm sweaty, we're done. <laughs> if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more of these videos, comment down below and if you want to know like more stories from that house, if you want to know like Ouija board experiences and like I don't play this stuff anymore, like that terrifies me, it's not a good thing to do. I mean like you do you, but I'm not doing that. No, 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 no. Ow, my, my elbow, hit my elbow on the wall. But yeah, I will see you guys later. Bye.